Hey BBs, it's Plastic. It's hey back with you guys for another video. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing very, very, very well. In today's video, we have the Dracula Gorgonizer doll. I am so beyond excited. I love Monster High G3 so far, and this doll came out when they first launched in like October 1st of 2022. But I waited out on this doll to wait for her to go on a sale because I need my sales and stuff. Yup. So this doll originally costed $42, but I got it for $36 today at walmart and i was super excited to finally find her on a good sale i know this isn't like the best sale but it was good enough for me to actually buy her and i'm super happy that i did because she's so cute in that little box so the box itself is something that we've kind of seen for a while we have this artwork of draculaura it's artwork sorry for the ring light being in the way but like look at how cute it is like in the holographic kind of font i love it so much we also have like the kid model and we have a picture of what the playset looks like when it's you know organized and everything the side of the box isn't anything crazy we just kind of see what's inside so we get dracula the playset and a bunch of other fun accessories the back we get a better look at you know everything included so it's really really cute the side doesn't have anything else the top has dracula organizer and the bottom has her barcode so scan this in amazon and walmart to find her i think she's also available at macy's but i have not seen her at walmart or target yet um but i'm super excited to get into her so let me unbox her and i'll be back with you guys in just a minute my dog was sitting here and i decided to record myself so here's my recording of me and my dog dexter opening draculaura he is annoying um but he's so silly and goofy And we are all out of the box. Draculaura is looking freaky fab. So I think I'm going to go over the doll first. And then we'll go over the accessories. Because, um, I don't know. I think the doll is more exciting, to be honest. So Draculaura is stunning. I love this, like, kind of screening on her. I think it's super cute. The eyes are super bug-like, almost. I don't know. She's just really, really fun and really cute. She has this cute little high ponytail. With, like, the iconic pink and black streaks. She has this little, like, headband as well that has bat wings on it. It kind of reminds me a lot of Freaky Fusion, to be honest. Um, and again, this makeup and bang is so cute. Like, look at the, like, hearts on her cheek. The white and black ones. She eats so hard in this doll. Like, look at that. She's so cutesy. She does not have pierced ears, which I found really interesting, to be honest. But besides that, she has, I think, a regular head of Saran, which is so nice. This doll is also wearing a little, like, black choker with hearts on it. Super cute and very simple. And the outfit is a two-piece little, um like it's fishnet with like a little like lace cuff on the you know cuffs and there is this little like mini dress it's black or it's pink with a bunch of black little symbols we have little black fangs and hearts and cute little other stuff and they are separate pieces so you can use them you know differently if you guys want to um which i always appreciate i like that this is a kind of a different outfit and she reminds me a lot of music fest from g1 and the doll is wearing very simple little shoes these are a new mold for this doll obviously because it's g3 these little hearts on like the little like thing and these are kind of like doc martens they have coffins on the heel or the um soles really really nice very very simple and very very cute there's not much painting on these but i honestly don't mind them for what they are she's a very cute little basic doll again this doll is nothing crazy to be honest she doesn't have that much going on with her just a very simple little dress so i'm gonna put her over here and it's time to get into the main attraction which is like the coffin thing and now it's time to get into the gorgonizer so this is a really cute little like organizing box it has a coffin shape and it has a bunch of little like prints on it the top is black with a bunch of little like draculaura symbols witchcraft there's some like skullettes on her like little like other stuff that kind of give draculaura and the handle is really sweet as well it's just kind of a handle um in the back ooh, there's dog hair all over it so ignore the dog hair um but it is a really cute little like baby pink and there's a little purple skullet on it which i guess they're trying to introduce purple in dracula's color scheme as we can kind of see with skultimate secrets um so that's really really interesting i think especially the shade of purple and opening it we get um that and then we have this little tray which is has a bunch of spider webs on it and you kind of lift it up because under it we have a bed for draculaura a little coffin bed which is so cute bunch of little skullets on here and you can fit draculaura in the little bed 
and then put this on top of it. So if you guys want to take her around and store some things on top of it, she definitely fits under there. And I bet you could even fit like another doll in there, to be honest, because like there's enough room, like a Frankie maybe even. Um, and then we also have a couple other fun things. So we have this little black um, skullette with hearts on it. And I think this is like the mirror and that's it. I thought there's something in here. Um, but here's the mirror, and it's cute. You can see me in there. Hello. Nice little mirror, and there's little sparkles on it. But it feels kind of empty, um, but that's something. We also have these hair clips, which I'll try on, and I'll flip the camera around. Really, really cute. There's little bat wings, and you get two of them. Nothing painted on them, but they're really nice and cute. I think little hair clips or something. Um, really, really sweet. We also have this little pen. Um, which is cute. It has a bunch of little hearts all over it. Actually, like a little stamp, so you put it on like your heart, like Jackie Laura does, and we'll try that out again in a minute if it doesn't combust. Um, I guess we also have this first G3 comb, which is the only comb that I own from like the G3 dolls, and it's cute. It has a bunch of little. It's just pink and it has like bat wings and stuff. It's cute. And the last thing that we get are these little stickers, which are, I think, for nail art and just for your face. But I'm going to leave these perfectly kept in this little plastic little clear thing because I'm not going to use them. Look at how gorgeous they are. They're so cute. I want these in, like, more of them. I want these, like, to be sold separately. But now it's time to de decorate myself plastic hearts like Jackie Laura. So the first thing that we're doing to get this doll's look is we're going to add these little hair clips, which I don't know how the lollies are going to stick in um how do i put these in my hair kind of works you know is it giving draculaca is it giving draculaca draculanca okay i don't think i did this right let me have a comb to brush my hair okay it's a it's a comb i don't want to expect it to be um a mirror to check myself If I can open it. It's a mirror, y'all. And then this is like the fun part. So this is a little like stamp thing for your face and it has a little heart. And I'm gonna add it right here. I did not add okay. Wait, this is actually kind of giving. How do I do this? How long should I leave it on for? I probably should have read the directions. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll try my hand really quickly for you guys. It's not very, like, black. I guess I think I'm doing it correctly. Do, 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 do. This makeup has been on for too long. So this isn't a very opaque um, stamp for your face, but it's really cute and it's really addicting, I think, actually. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, let, me do some, let me do some on my eye, maybe. <gasps> y'all, let's get into it for prom, maybe. Ooh, I just messed that up. Ignore that one. Sorry, y'all. I'm too excited. And I'm only using this mirror. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna get carried away. You're gonna see me with like, let's do it on my nose. Okay, that'll be my final one. Um, I am ruining my, mm. it's not meant for your nose, so that's fine. But overall, I think this is a cute little, like, stamp. It's for kids. It's not really sure. I'm taking... This is awful. Um, this is for, like, the kids. I wonder how off, how easy it takes off. Do you have any makeup on? So, we're just using a microfiber cloth. You can kind of get this off relatively easily. It's not that hard to remove. Um, so, yeah. It's a nice little, like, addition. It's not really the nicest. I bet just makeup removal is going to... Removal, removal will work better, but... It's fine. It, it's a kid's But kid. overall, I kind of love this little playset. It's kind of cute. It's kind of gimmicky. And it's kind of cheap. But I can't really be mad at extra storage. Um, I think this is going to be really, really nice for a lot of the extra accessories that G3 comes with. And I cannot wait to actually add my G3 accessories in here. Maybe I'll do that later tonight. Um, and I think a lot of the other fun things are cute for the kids. You know, the comb. I think we should be getting these in every single Monster High doll, to be honest. Because, like... The kids need to brush their hair somehow. Like, we don't have any other G3 combs or stands anywhere else. So, this being the first one is kind of weird to me. I think they should just be in every release, even though I don't, you know, use them. They're for the kids. These, again, they serve their purpose of being little, like, brettes. I have, I'm not trying these out, but they're cute, I guess, like, style-wise. Um, but for $40, I think that's a little bit steep. Um, this doll is not that exciting. Like, I'm not gonna lie. She's, like, very cute, but I think this set would have been a lot nicer at 35 to be honest, retailing. 
just because like I like the doll like the original core monster high dolls cost around 25 each and they come with more than this and they come with a bunch of accessories and they come with a pet and they come with um another outfit piece and she doesn't come with anything really extra but i mean she does come with extra stuff but like not like for her actual doll like the doll just comes with this and like other stuff is for you and stuff which i get and it's cute but i think it just would have been better at like a 30 35 dollar price point because again at like skultimate secrets dolls i think you get like kind of a little bit more than this to be honest like the skulls and secrets dolls you get two outfits for the doll um you get like the little coffin thing which is over there you guys kind of see it right now and it's the same plastic if not better plastic than this and you also have the ability to store away your doll and keep other accessories so if I had a fight between this doll and the Skultimate Secrets Draculaura doll, or uh, it's not, I don't have Skultimate Secrets Draculaura yet. I have Skultimate Secrets, like, Claudine. If you guys had a pick between two of them, I would definitely pick, like, the Skultimate Secrets doll rather than the Gorgonizer one. And this doll is also really, really hard to find for some reason. Like, she's just not, you know, anywhere besides Walmart and Amazon, which is kind of random, but I get it. Walmart exclusive, whatever. Um, but I think she's still cute besides the little, like, factors of her being a little bit expensive. Um, I still do enjoy her for my G3 collection. I'm definitely excited to add her somewhere in my display. She's so cute, and I love Draculaura so much in this gen. She's just so fun to play with, and she's so sturdy. I love it so much, and I think I'm just rambling at this point, but recommendation of waiting for a sale on this doll easily um and she's on sale currently for 36.99 on amazon and walmart so check that out if you guys are you know interested in her i think she's really really fierce for that reason um but yeah in the comments below please let me know what you guys think about this doll i'm dying to know if you guys have her or not if you guys want her if you guys are just gonna skip on her i would know all the things down below hope to see you guys all in the next video i love you guys all so very much please have a fantastic night and i can't wait to see you guys again i love you guys all very much bye